so this video is going to be all about my hair and also a little tips and tricks on how to get long and healthy hair. So I did a styling video a few days ago, I'll link it down below, and this got a lot of views so I'm really happy about it. But anyways, um, this is usually how I style my hair so if you want to see how I usually style, it's not the way I did today. Today I used the clamp but usually I don't use the clamp. So anyways, just go see the video, It is. it will be linked down below. But this video is going to be more all about my hair, how it is, what products I use, and also just my tips and tricks on how I maintain long hair and healthy hair. Because that's the most important thing, <laughs> it's to be healthy. So my hair is fairly long and I measured it for you with uh, a measuring tape. It is 22 inches, this part of my hair. So usually the longest part, um, it's the part that is behind your ear, like here. Um, so that is 22 inches. My hair is um, not fine but not thick. So it used to be a little thicker but now I think as I got older and it's a little thinner. Um, so I would say it's in between like fine and not fine. <laughs> um, but I do have a lot of hair. So um, I have quite a lot of hair. Also I don't dye my hair. This is my natural color. I did do a non-braid last year as you can probably tell. It was a box dye from L'Oreal. I don't recommend it. It really did damage the ends of my hair and I would not do it again. So especially not box dye. I really don't recommend box dye. Um, I personally have never dyed my hair but if I was going to I would not use the box dye. I know it is less expensive but it is more damaging. So yeah. Also, I do have a lot of gray hair, so I don't dye my hair right now, but in the future I know I'll have to because it is pretty intense. Maybe you can't see now, but I have a lot. Like, it is pretty intense. My dad um, started getting gray hair really, really young. Um, my first gray hair was maybe like eight, nine, I don't know. Um, so it's just genetics. I have a lot of gray hair. People point it out to me all the time, and it's kind of annoying because I, I just know I have gray hair because I have so many people think they're like announcing me something they're not, no people think that they are yeah telling me something I don't know which I know I have so many gray hair so anyway it's kind of annoying when people just point it out in public but I don't care because it's just gray hair but I mean the texture of a gray hair is not the same as my hair so right now I really like the texture of my hair my hair is a wavy to curly type of hair it's not frizzy which I'm really thankful for and so yeah but a gray hair is not the same texture, so I mean, we'll see in like five years when I'll have to dye my hair how it's gonna be. But um, yeah, I will have a lot of gray hair pretty soon. <laughs> I, I already have a lot, so imagine. And then for my haircut, I don't get that many haircuts for about two years. I cut my own hair. I am not a hairdresser, I am not a hairstylist, I don't know anything about hair. But I did cut my own hair because I wanted to save money, I guess. I don't know. And also because I was tired of just getting a haircut, paying $30 and not be satisfied, so I just decided to cut it myself, but um, a month ago I went to a hairdresser, it was a sketchy place, I really regret it, but she didn't really do a good job, so in a month or two I'll probably go to a really nice hair salon and get a really nice haircut. The first thing is something that I don't do but I really want to do more often is get a haircut often. So you want to get rid of the damage at the bottom of your hair because um, if not your hair will always be damaged at the bottom and even if it grows it's always going to be damaged at the end and it's going to break. So I will try to do this. Usually I get mine like one every six months, one every year, I don't know. I'm really terrible about getting haircuts but I really want to start getting them more ripped often and um, because it will ensure that the ends of my hair look nicer and healthier. The second tip is do not wash it often. So before I used to wash my hair every other day which it was better than every day but it was still not that good because your hair produces oil and um, after a day um, the oils haven't reached the bottom of your hair. So washing it every day or every other day you're just removing that oil over and over again and your hair never gets 
the nutrients that it needs. So now I actually trained my hair because I was in my finals last December and I actually was not <laughs> washing my hair that often because I was studying. So that actually trained my hair. So I started washing it every three to four days and my hair has been doing fine. It has been doing even a lot better than it used to. It's a lot more shiny. Right now I don't have any like particular products to make it look shiny. And personally my hair doesn't get oily. Um, I have very dry skin so usually when you have dry skin you have a drier hair <laughs> but when you have oily skin you usually have oily hair that just come comes with it most of the time but when you're in your teens um your hair will get oily easier easily yeah if you're like 13 14 15 um in that time i used to wash it like every other day because just i needed to it was oilier um but as you get older you can definitely skip washes <laughs> one of the most important tip is do not use heat as much as you can try to avoid the heat um usually i have my hair natural most of the time except on the days that i film sometimes i'll have it natural as well but um i like to curl it you know to glam up myself for the camera but usually during the school um during the school year i don't do my hair so for like a week usually i don't film during the week when i have school so i won't do my hair i maybe will do it once in the weekend so um, I say do it once a week. I mean, if you wash your hair like twice a week, usually I'll curl my hair and I won't need to curl it for the rest of the four days, four or three days, depending. But try to limit yourself to like once or twice a week um, uh, putting heat in your hair. I really, really recommend this because it will definitely um, make a change. This is probably the one thing that I do that um, helps me to get long and healthy hair. So I forgot to tell you but I wash my hair at night and I sleep on it and my hair is looking better the next day. This is how I like it. But sometimes I will take my shower in the morning and I'll have to wash my hair in the morning and I have to go somewhere important. I mean that's not often but um, and I want to have nice hair. Then I'll blow dry my hair but that is not often. So I really recommend it just letting it air dry and not use heat often and then use products with good or better ingredients or try to look for things like um sulfate free silicone free paraben free especially silicone free um it's um in a lot of shampoos especially drugstore shampoos like pantene and stuff um you know the shampoos will claim to um restore your hair and make it shiny make it healthy make it strong but actually it's the silicone that's in it that will coat your hair and repair split ends but actually it only makes it nice temp temporary and it actually doesn't repair anything it just covers it with a layer of silicone so it's actually not good for your hair because it is only temporary and you're just building up your hair with products that is not good for your hair so that, that is something to look for and also do not use a lot of products because the most products that you use it will create a buildup on your on your scalp and that will make your hair not grow so um you know when you're using dry shampoo a lot of people just pack it on because they want to skip washes but that is not good because you're actually not washing your hair but you're coating your scalp with product and you're building up your scalp and that makes your hair not grow anymore and well it will grow but it will grow really really thin and your hair will break and it will be damaged a lot easily easily easier <laughs> but if you do use a lot of products um try to do a clarifying shampoo i did that my mom bought one a few years ago and i did it and my hair felt really really nice so um yeah that is something to do to clarify your hair um once in a while to just remove all the build up that's on your scalp if you want it if you want your hair to grow so and also something that i really want to start doing um i know that it is good for your hair i used uh olive oil once on my hair and my hair felt really really nice the next day so it's all natural olive oil so i really recommend that but also co coconut oil i heard is really good so i really want to try that as well like do a mask um probably once a week i'll start doing that but um yeah so these are two really just natural ingredients that you can use straight from the straight from the kitchen and it can really help your hair and make it feel really smooth i will show you the shampoo that i was using but it is completely done and it was not the best um it was dixon from the brand dixon 
It was a amplified shampoo for fine hair with collagen and hyaluronic acid, but it had silicone in it, so it was not the best, but it was paraben free. But so, yeah, but next time I will definitely check for a silicone free shampoo. Then something else that I use, since I only wash my hair twice a week, I can allow myself to use a deep conditioner or a mask every time I wash my hair because I only wash it twice a week. So the one that I was using for the past year pretty much is the Mac Macadamia Natural Oil Nourishing Leave-In Cream. So it was a leave-in conditioner cream. Um, so I have a little bit left, but ooh, uh, the pump doesn't really reach it anymore. I mean, it, it did just there, but um, that was good. Oh, it was good. It smelled really nice for my hair. It did, you know, I was, okay, so this I was applying it in the shower and I was rinsing it a little bit because I don't like... Um, the feeling of leave-in conditioner in my hair the next morning usually it makes it like very thick and not nice to the touch so I usually put it in the shower rinse it off a little bit and then get out of the shower and the product is still there but um yeah I really did like it it made my hair feel really smooth and it looked really nice and it smells really good and then obviously I have a dry shampoo like pretty much everybody but I don't use it often as I told you it creates a buildup straight on your scalp I read this online it is not good to use too much dry shampoo so um, but the one that I use is the Batiste this is the medium and brunette one it is good it smells good but I use it mainly for volume as I told you also at the beginning my hair doesn't get really oily it's more on the normal to dry side so I don't really need this but um, sometimes just to refresh it, I'll like spray it like this, um, you know, after like two to three days, maybe sometimes it needs a little refreshment. A another product that I really, really like is the Babyliss Argan Oil. This is actually alcohol free, which I really like because it doesn't dry on my hair. It makes it smell really, really good and it makes it look really shiny, which I really like. I usually put this um, in my hair so I will wash it at night, sleep on it, and then the next morning, I don't put any products when I get out of the shower, then the next morning I'll apply this in my hair, and my hair will just feel really amazing. It's really a good product. You really need the tiniest bit. I featured this in my May Favorites, actually, and it's not too expensive, and um, it's just a really good product, so I really recommend it. Any type of like argan oil, Moroccan oil um, is really good for your hair. Just check if it's alcohol-free or something. Um, it is better for your hair. So, um, yeah, I've been really liking this and for sure I will always buy this. I also apply this after I have styled my hair. I didn't do it today because I didn't feel the need to. Also, try not to use those, like, got to be, I had one like this, got to be, like, um, shine products. They are, like, $3.99 and they are full of alcohol. So don't use that to make your hair shiny. It will just dry out your hair with all the alcohol. And the three styling products that I use. Um, these are styling only, so I only use these when I style my hair. So the first one that I use that I don't use often, but I use once in a while, um, when I wash my hair in the morning and I have to blow dry it because I have to go somewhere, I will use this. So this is um, the Power Whip from Joico. It's basically a, a mousse that I just put at the root of my hair and that will give me a lot of volume, a lot of texture. It's gonna make my hair look really nice. And then two products that I use a lot, which I showed these in my um, styling video. So the first one is the Power Spray Fast Dry Finishing Spray. It smells amazing. It's a fast drying hairspray. It doesn't weigh down my hair, especially I have super long hair. Um, it is perfect. I love the scent and it's a L Beauty Grand Prix. Um, so anyways, it smells really good and it's a really good hairspray. It gives me a lot of volume. And it doesn't make, like I have it on today, and it doesn't make my hair feel scrunchy at all. Like you can't even tell I have hairspray in my hair. Like you could not never tell. And then to texturize my hair when I feel like it's a bit, when I want just a texture look. So I really like this because sometimes I just need that extra texture in my hair. I just want texture. So I will use this. It's a dry spray wax. I love this. Again, it's from Joico. It's kind of a unique product, but I really, really like it. And it smells really nice, which I love. So that is the end of my hair care and how to get long and healthy hair video. Um, I hope it was helpful. I really hope you did learn a few things. Just enjoy your natural um, hair texture, how it is naturally. Try to enjoy it. The most as you can because yeah so anyways that is the end of my video i will link to old very old um hair care routine that i did which 
they're not accurate right now but why not if you want to laugh on my old videos and also I will link you the latest hair tutorial that I did on my hair the only thing that I did differently today I used a clamp that's the only thing I just wanted to try it but um it's a different look I kind of like it but anyways I really hope you enjoy this also I did a makeup look on this look except I changed the lips I will link it down below because it will be up before this one and also make sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and now my camera is about to die so I will leave you right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!